What's up guys, I'm here showing you a nice little tutorial on how to do smooth slow motion with a Twixter and a GoPro camera filming at 60 frames a second or basically any camera or PVR or whatever the hell you're using Twixter for. So if you're using a GoPro, you'd want to open up MPEG Stream Clip and find a nice little section that you want to slow-mo. Preferably have it on a white background so that there would be not a lot of blur. And then just set your in and out things. And I'm going to do Command E. I use ProRes 422 so it works well with editing and all that. 128 by 720 frame rate. You're just going to leave it as is. You don't want to make it 30 or anything to bring it down. You want to keep it exactly how it is. And you're going to want to make your movie. Uh, no, not there. And then you're just going to save it. Wherever the hell you want to save it. I've tried this before and then it messed up on the clip. It started doing dumb stuff. Then you're going to save your clip and I'll meet you back in Final Cut. Okay, so here we are back in After Effects. And then what you want to do, I know I said Final Cut before, but it's After Effects. So here we are, we make a new composition. Name it whatever the hell you want and then make sure that it's 59.94 frames per second and just that it basically matches your clip settings I'll make the time a bit more because you're going to slow mo it add a bit of room just leave some room to mess around with and you're going to go import your clip so file twixter pixar what the so here is Mr. Quasi's Wally. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that you enable frame blending, because that is what Twixter is gonna be using. Then you go, make sure that it's selected, Effect, Revision Plugins, Twixter Pro. And then right here uh, on the side for input frame, you want to make sure that it matches your your clip settings, which is 59.94 frames per second. And then right down here, your frame interp, I don't know what it says, it's going to do motion weighted blend. And that means that it's going to blend basically where there's motion, which is this guy doing his thing. Now open up your clip, effects, Twixter Pro, output control, and then this is what you're going to be changing right here. So right where you want it to slow-mo, make sure it's preferably on a blank background. That's how you get rid of the blur. You're going to find a spot where you want to start it. That's where... So you're going to start it here, and then go back a couple frames and set your keyframe. Then you go forward to where you want to slow-mo, and then you just change it to say five. Just keep it there. And then it's just gonna slow mo all the way through. Oh, one thing I forgot to say. Uh you have to before you do this, or when you do this, you can right click on it, time, enable time remapping, and this means you'll be able to drag it out and just extend the clip, make it go on longer. Just if you're doing your slow-mo. So then you find the spot where you want to stop it. And then you can just uh, go back a bit. Set your first keyframe. Skip ahead a bit. And then bring it back up to 100%. And then that is how you do a smooth slow motion with Twixter. Yeah. Let render. Okay, so now that this is somewhat rendered out, you can play it back. See that it's slow, smooth, not much distortion, and it just looks clean in general. It looks nice. And that's it. Basically, if you want to do it slower, I guess. I'll
do that next, but if you just want to leave it like that, you can keep it there, render it, do whatever you need to. Okay, so I'll be back in a moment. How do I stop it? Now if you're feeling a bit greedy and you want it even slower, the first thing you could do is you could just bring that number for this little keyframe right here down a bit except that can only go so far and then it ends up just looking distorted and retarded actually that doesn't look that bad you could just make the number lower except as you can see now it's not playing inside real time yet it still looks smooth with Twixter so this is meaning something we can make it even slower by using something else and that's what we're going to do here. So first off, I'll make a new composition again. We'll name it QWERTY2. Keep all the settings the same before. And then you take the clip that you had just rendered from your Twixter. And then you're going to need to import that too. So this is my Twixter version. Right here. Let me zoom in a bit. And then you're going to find the spot where you started the slow-mo. What the hell? Okay, I did something wrong here. Damn it, I want to stop it again. Okay, so I'm back. Figured out what I did wrong. Oh, oh. What I, did, what I did wrong, and I had somehow exported the wrong clip. So here we are, just bringing it back in here. Okay, then we're going to drop this in. This is the Twixter clip that we have of Mr. Williams doing a Wally. And then we're going to right click on it, time, and enable time remapping. And then we're just going to find the spot where the twixter starts basically here-ish and we're going to set a keyframe and we're going to go find where it ends somewhere around here just say there and then we're going to drag this out a bit more and then we're going to select the last two keyframes. These four we made, or two we made, and then we're going to select the last two at the very end. And we're just going to pull them out a bit more. This is going to make it super slow. And it's going to keep it really smooth. There's going to be no blurring or anything of that sort. And then you just pull it back as far as you want and it'll look smooth no matter what because that's just how awesome it is like I can legit go take it zoom out a bit so it was like up there before right now I can just select them pull it all the way back there and it'll still be smooth and play normally Except we just turn an eight second clip, five even, into like a twenty three second clip, which is pretty insane. And so yeah, that's a you your smooth slow motion with Twixter. Holy crap, that is slow. This is real time. And that's actually moving if you believe it. And crap, what the hell am I doing? Look, it's actually moving. If you can see that there. So that is slow motion. Oh my god, I've actually never done that before. This is cool. And yeah, that's that's the tutorial. It's G code. Now how do you stop this? Shake that.